Hello, I'm Paul Moan, and welcome to my solo interview about my show Solo, which is coming up in a couple of days. Um, I am a stand-up and a performer, and I'm super excited about taking my stand-up show here to Accidental Theatre. Um, we're live, so um, you can ask any questions you want about myself or the show. Okay, so first up, who am I and where did I come from? Oh, those are deep questions. Am I, am I prepared? Uh, I've done the wrong thing. I shouldn't be in this interview. Um, so yeah, I'm Paul Moan. I'm a performer and comedian uh, from Belfast. I've been performing comedy for um, about seven years in total. I've been performing stand-up for about four. Um, and this is my, uh, on Friday will be my second ever hour-long show, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I performed my first uh, last year here also at Accidental Theatre, uh, my first hour long, and it was uh, a lot of fun. It was really great. Um, I'm from uh, a little town called Katy in Armagh, and it's, yes, that's where I grew up. <laughs> I'm trying to think, is there anything cool I can say about Katy? If you're watching and you're from Katy, we love, we love it. We love a wee bit of Katy. Um, uh, I've been living in Belfast for about, uh, on and off, for about 20 years. Um, so this is this is very much my uh, my first home <laughs> away from home. Um, what drew me to stand up? Um, honestly, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure what drew me to stand up. So I my first performance um, uh, or performing art was improv improv comedy. So I uh, also teach here at Accidental Theatre. So I teach improv and I perform improv and it's like a very uh, fun and inclusive and enjoyable in the moment, um, adrenaline filled type of performing and very funny. Um, and I guess just being in the performing art circuit, uh, you meet a lot of stand-ups, you watch a lot, you just watch a lot of stand-up comedy. And to be honest, I never thought that I could, <clears throat> that I would be any good at it. But I took a course in stand-up a few years ago, um, over a week, uh, and it was just uh, actually, a lot of fun writing, writing stand up, and that was um, that was where I got started. Like the the joy of like writing uh, that course, we had to perform after the end of the course. So we had a five day course, and then on the Saturday we had to perform. Uh, and just the exhilaration of like writing something in a week, like a seven to ten minute set, and then performing it was just it was just amazing fun. Um, and then I just continued to perform. Um, so what? How was my first show elected? It was great. It was loads of fun. Um, I performed it five times in total, I think. Um, and I had maybe like a couple of hundred people see me all together across those different uh, different performances. Um, it was loads of fun. It's really interesting when you perform, especially when you perform like an hour-long show in a few different venues, is that they all have like completely different vibes. Um, so you get a, like, a, like a different room and even like the different sound that comes back at you echoes like through the microphone and through the sound systems uh, and the audience laughter and where they're seated and how big the room is and all those sorts of things uh, really impact like the vibe of a room. So even though it was almost exactly the same material each time, although I'd add little bits and pieces and took out some bits and pieces as I went through, <laughs> which were refining it the entire time, uh, even though it like, slightly changed, um, it was more or less the same show, but you get different responses to different things each time. Uh, but in general, it was a lot of fun, um, and that's why I'm really excited to bring this show back. And this show is going to be a lot of fun too, um, and the more fun it is, the more likely it is that I will do a third show next year as well. Um, this show is going to be very much like my other show, but also like the, the stand-up that I do. Uh, occasionally around town, which is um, very performative. Um, there are jokes, um, I think, um, but predominantly it's about like the, the performance of comedy, and I do enjoy um, a little bit of like, like character work, and I like a little bit of like to put some acting into my stand-up comedy. Um, I like to mix a little bit of clowning in as well. Um, which might put off some uh, people who are thinking about coming to see it, but it's the type of clowning which is more like concerned with like the, uh, the, your physical performance as opposed necessarily to 
red noses and big uh, green wigs and floppy shoes. Um, it's more about your facial expressions and your character and I could just do a 20 minute interview on this, <laughs> but there's a lot of like clowning um, sort of we and performance comedy weaved, physical performance weaved in to the set. So the whole thing is partly it's the written comedy and jokes that have very specific jokes that have specific punchlines, but a lot of it is also like the energy of the performance will like carries, it's very, it's really hard to explain, um, carries jokes from one place to another. You'll have to just come and see the show and find out what am I talking about. Um, where did my show come from? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, so the way I designed this show, which is similar to the way I designed the last one, was that I had a couple of loose ideas, things that I wanted to talk about, things that I was interested in that I hadn't actually written any jokes about yet, but I figured that would be very interesting themes just to talk about for you know, 30 minutes even. And uh, with this one, um, although I'm not going to tell anyone what the content necessarily is, um, the all of the different elements, all of the different jokes and different parts of it were all things that I thought about um, maybe even two, two to three months ago. I thought I would really enjoy talking about these very particular issues on stage. A lot of it is connected to social issues, uh, political issues, um, things that we're, we're living through at the moment. And I feel like I don't get enough opportunity to, to talk about those things in life. Um, but as a performer, I can take some of those ideas and just express them on stage. So it's not all political humor per se, but there is definitely a political edge to it. Um, it's not all jokes about politicians by any means. In fact, there may not even be any polit... No, there's one. There's definitely one politician mentioned, uh, but it's not really like that type of like uh, politics. It's more just like more general political themes will be running through it. And so that's kind of where it where it came from. You work out the performance stuff and the jokes after that, if you're me, you work out what the main themes are and then you just hope that there's something funny to be said about those things. Um, oh, lovely. Who is your favorite comedian is the next question. Um, that's a good question. I have a few people vying for top spot, but I think the, person, the comedian that's probably most influenced me is Stuart Lee. And I think if you've watched me perform, um, it can be cl clear enough that I do enjoy uh, Stuart Lee's style of performance, um, like building up tension across a show um, and then getting that big cathartic laugh at the end. And also like the way that he plays um, characters, like light characters as he goes through a show. I really enjoy that. I also enjoy writing material that connects together very well. So even um, bits that seem that they might not be connected to the anything else, all are somehow connected. Um, with my last show, Elected, last year, the tr the, my, um, probably the biggest, I don't want to say problem, the biggest, it's not an obstacle either, but I can't think of any other words to use. Um, the challenge, that's a good word. Um, the, the challenge was to find a joke or a performance bit at the end that would somehow tie a lot of the other themes together and maybe and like call back maybe to other things that had been mentioned during the show. Um, and so that's very much a Stuart Lee thing and uh, I think I may have, st I've definitely stolen that from him. Um, I steal a lot of stuff from Stuart Lee. <laughs> uh, not really, uh, but yeah, that's him. Um, next question is, oh, what am I most nervous about for this show? I, um, I'm actually not nervous about the show, which is very peculiar um, when you're in performance and performing arts is not to be nervous about a show. I'll be very nervous 30 seconds before the show's about to start when I realize I haven't, I can't remember anything that I'm supposed to say. Um, but I wouldn't say I'm, I'm nervous. In fact, I'm very, very excited. Um, I do really enjoy the performance of a show very much. Um, the whole reason, no one is forcing me to do any of this. Um, I don't think, um, unless like they're sub, I'm being subconscious. Society is somehow subconsciously uh, forcing me to do it. I, 
set it all up because I really enjoy being on stage and sharing ideas and also making people laugh. There's nothing like being in a room of people um, and just having that and then spark into laughter because of something you've said or something that you have implied or a movement that you've made or a face that you've pulled. It's a really lovely experience. And a lot of my show will be that, pulling faces, um, <laughs> pulling faces, saying words, intoning and implying things and hopefully making people laugh at that. So, uh, but would I be nervous that people aren't going to laugh or <laughs> enjoy it? I don't think so. I think that I'm in, um, with comedy, not everyone always enjoys a show, like I really like any type of uh, like art at all, and not everyone enjoys it, but you're aiming it towards people who you think will really get a kick out of it. And the people who tend to come to your shows hopefully have seen you before or like the sound of it, you're talking about certain themes, they're invited by a friend, and you, je you m most often, like the greater percentage of people who are coming to watch your show are going to really enjoy it, even if it's a little bit offbeat or um, alternative, which mine is. and. Um, so I'm not really nervous, I'm just more excited to, to see how that goes. In fact, I would say that even if it doesn't go well, it's, it's gonna go well, um, but even if it's, uh, if people don't laugh at the parts that I expect them to laugh at, or it doesn't really get the response I expect, um, it's still an exciting prospect to be on stage and to have those things happen and to like work through in the moment, what do you do if your joke hasn't landed? What do you do if um, you know, people, it's just silence and coughing from the, <laughs> from the back row, um, which has actually happened to me. And um, thankfully, I was able to try to channel the, those thoughts of like, this is an exciting time. You're not, uh, this isn't horrible. <laughs> this is very exciting. What can you learn from this experience? So yes, it's, I'm excited. And uh, even if it goes terribly, terribly wrong, It'll be an interesting uh, learning experience. And I might never do stand-up ever again. Who's gonna know? Um, how much of the show is real versus uh, how much of the show is an act? Well, that's a very good question. A lot of the, the themes that I'm talking about, I care a lot about. Um, I think that there's, you should be talking about them on stage. So, um, in that sense, like most of the show is real, but it's, there's a veneer of performance over it. So I will say that I like things that I obviously don't like. I say that I hate things that I obviously don't hate. And there's like a, maybe a good a dose of irony in it and playfulness. Um, and occasionally there'll be parts where people are laughing at things that they believe is just like a, like a, like a, a long act. But underneath that are things that I, I really genuinely care about and want to express and talk to the audience about, hopefully at the end of the show. I mean, really, I just want people to laugh. I don't really want people to be thinking. But hopefully at the end of the show, after people have laughed at it, they're like, oh, that's interesting because I'm, we're thinking now about these themes that the, uh, the comedian has talked about. Um, what do I prefer, writing or performing is the next question. Um, I perform... I perform, I perform, so you might not have heard, I've got a show coming up on Friday where I'll be performing. I enjoy um, both aspects. I really enjoy the writing process, uh, the editing and refining of a good set, but I think it has to be the performance of it. I mean, those two things are very tightly connected, of course, but there's nothing like, um, there's really nothing like being on stage um, pushing your material out into the world or the things that you think out into the world and getting like some sort of response back. Uh, and final question um, is, what is your uh, favorite sandwich? What is my favorite sandwich? Oh, I knew there were gonna be tricky ones. Uh, my favorite sandwich is, uh, it's gotta be a crisp sandwich of some kind. Cheese and onion, cheese and onion crisp sandwich. Oh, do I wanna add anything into that? Obviously butter. Potentially also grated cheese. A melted cheese crisp sandwich. Cheddar cheese, cheese and onion. Oh, also onions. We'll put some actual onions in there. So it's a double cheese and onion, cheese and onion sandwich. My favorite sandwich. Um, that's all of the questions. Um, 
I have a show coming up on Friday, maybe you've heard about it. It's called Solo, and it's here at Accidental Theatre at 8pm on Friday the 10th of March. That's in a few days from now. Um, I would love to see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please come and see it. And thank you very much. I've been Paul Nunn.